Unlike his previous civil cases, Donald Trump has to be in the courtroom every minute of this trial, and it's expected to last six to eight weeks. So expect security in the city to be tighter for all of that time. Lucy Yang is here with that part of the story. Lucy. Thank you, Jim. As you've heard from my colleagues, Jim and Josh, these historic events, whether on the national political stage or in the international theater of war, they all trickle down to New York, and protecting this city will require the highest level of policing and cooperation among the agencies. How to keep New Yorkers safe with minimum disruptions is the great balancing act to come. To have a former president go back and forth from Trump Tower to the courthouse downtown every day for his trial means at a minimum road closures every time he travels. And you know what that trickles down to? Traffic nightmares for the rest of us. There are indications the Secret Service will likely mix up Trump's route to keep disruptive protesters guessing. The attention of the nation and often the world will be on New York City for this entire event. In addition to Trump's trial and the media circus that follows, in addition to the usual bullseye on New York City's back, this weekend, a hail of missiles from Iran to Israel sent shockwaves to New York, where the second largest population of Jews reside. Obviously, when we see this sort of violence, it tears us up inside. We are deeply concerned for the well-being of the people of Israel, not just the Jews who are in Israel, but the Muslims, the Christians. Thankfully, the violence did not spread to our backyard. Authorities did not raise the actual security level, but the NYPD were more visible, especially around prime targets like synagogues. We hope that the war in Gaza ends soon and the hostages are brought home because there's just been too much loss of life and too much trauma. Indeed, today's beautiful spring weather filled many with hope. But just because it was quiet, just because there were no mass hate attacks to report, doesn't mean the police, the FBI, or the Secret Service can exhale just yet. We're live in Midtown on Lucy Yang for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Hard to exhale in this situation. Thank you, Lucy. And